In today's video, we're gonna expose a swing thought that could be ruining your game. Have you ever tried to keep this right elbow tucked in in the downswing to get the club from more inside? If so, you've probably been doing it wrong. In today's live lesson, we take Josh through a very simple thing that helps him get the club more from the inside, plus some really useful tips that I know are gonna help you. Let's get to the lesson. Let's, let's fire a few away, let's go red flag. Okay. Um, and let's just have a look at the swing and then we'll, uh, we'll get into it. The so goal of the session today, Josh, you mentioned it just off camera. You mentioned a little bit about tempo, but for, for consistency, you've got a bit of a, a two-way miss. You can hit it left, straight pull, or you can miss it aggressively right. So if we can get that dispersion down, so you're a little bit more consistent in direction. That'd, that'd be, be a, great. That'd be yeah. a good thing, yeah? Yeah. Okay, I think we can do that pretty easy today. And what, what handicap are you, Josh? I'm a 10. 10 handicap. Ever been single, single digits? Never. Squeeze the little low. It's a little inconsistent in the flight. We can see you with one oh, left, yeah. one right, one straight, little low. I'm covering all the bases here. Yeah. Here's the first thing before we get into the golf swing. And you think, you mentioned this earlier, but I'm just gonna show you because it is just vital of you getting better. Okay, just come back and just step back and just come and have a look where these are aiming for us. Now, we bear in mind we're going at the red flag. Wow. Yeah. Whenever, the more you aim to the right with everything like this, the more, you have to make an adjustment to swing back to the target. So you can have a, a great setup like you do that's pointing right, but you know the ball needs to start near that red flag. So you just go oh, over top. and more to the left. So before we get into the golf swing, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get you to hit three or four shots from a square stance and just show you how it feels. Now what, I, what we expect to see from this now is that the right is almost gonna go now because you're gonna stand here and you're gonna go, wow, this feels really left. Right. You're still going to swing probably a little over, which, no will, which, which will fix. But this is now, you mentioned before off camera, that I know I aim potentially a little off. Right. The way you fix that is the training on the range. And this is what I want you to do. So this one is just parallel, slightly left of target. Okay. Let's hit a couple of shots. Let's just see how this feels. So when you get to the range, the first thing I'd be doing is just putting the feet line down, just left of the, left of the flag, and then you just calibrate it. And then you just get used to seeing what right. square is and you're training the vision basically. So I'm, I'm lining my feet or the club, so I've never used, worked with sticks. Feet, so just get the, okay. the feet line and then everything else will follow. Okay. If you get yourself comfortable there, now just have a look at where do you feel you're aiming now? Wow. Where does it feel? Feels left. Feels left, yeah. yeah? <laughs> okay, and which, it, which is good, but this is now training for you. When you look at the target now, you, it feels left, but you know it's right. Co so not right, you it's know it's correct. correct. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this is now that you're associating this and the more you train this, the less it's going to be off on the golf course. Right. So what we do now, I want to, I want to see a few shots now. Okay. And then we're going to just have a look at the path number. There you go. Beautiful oh. shot. But now we've got the freedom to not worry about it missing right. There you go. And that one's going to miss probably five yards right as opposed to. It's a lot better miss than before. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. One more. Okay, squeeze that one a little more to the right. Yeah. And the thing is, if you hit that shot and you're aiming right, it's a double, it's like a, a, you're dead, you're dead. Yeah. Whereas now you're aiming square, right. now we know that was, that was a result of the swing and nothing to do with your Why aim. Now, if we look right. at the number on here, path 6.7 to the left. Now, if I said to you, <clears throat> what was you, what, what's a swing thought that you've had? Because you knew that you were maybe swinging across, what was a swing thought that you had in order to try and fix it? Uh, elbow right, trail elbow in. Tra trail elbow trying to keep in on the, yeah. on the, on the swing, yeah? Well, let's, let's swap places and let's just go through, go through what you're doing. So when we look from the down the line view, your first move away is really good. It's pretty much on plane to here. But what we see then is that we then just start to lift the arms. And as we lift the arms to get them high, the body lifts a little bit as well, loses posture. And the arm plane is very upright. This is probably as a result of you trying to lengthen the swing, which you mentioned earlier. Right. But because the arms are so high, as we then start the downswing and apply the power, we then swing over the top. and then across. And that's why the divot's there. Makes so sense. the key to getting your path a little bit more neutral is actually what we do in the backswing. And this is what I'd like to see. I'd love to see that the left arm at the top of the swing is a little closer to the same angle as the shoulders. 
And if I draw a line down the butt of the club vertically, yours is sort of through the toes. We'd like to see it more behind the heel line or in line with the heel line. So basically we'd love to see that your arms are a little more around the body as opposed to Sweet. high. If we do that, the downswing is going to be a lot easier. We'll see the divot pattern a bit shallower and we'll see the, uh, the path numbers a lot more closer to, to zero. Okay. Let's give, the, let's give you the feeling then. So let's get you in, in the setup. So we know your first move is good. We know your first move is pretty much on plane. You want to lift from here, but I, what I want to do so I want to keep you in your posture and get your arms more around the body here. Okay. Okay, what does that feel like? Absolutely uncomfortable. Absolutely uncomfortable, he said there, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's try that one more time. Let's try that one more time. Okay. <laughs> what actually, what feels uncomfortable? Um, Is it more of a stretch? Is the, it? The turn. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. So first move, we know it's good to hear. Now what we're going to do is we're going to keep the arms more around the body. So if you hold it there, breathe out. What we've got now is the butt end of the club a little more behind as opposed to right up here yours are up here got it what i'd like you to do before we even hit any shots i'd like you to just have a few swings and just put that into a movement that you feel would be close to where we want okay. let's have a couple of swings good good okay let's just go i just want you to go slow for me now okay i'm just going to hold this in place here just go to, to top and stop Okay, I want you to keep the arms underneath this. Good, and again. Okay. So I'm just gonna get the arms swinging underneath this. Good. Couple more. There you go. So now hold it there. So now what we've got from the down the line camera, we've got this lead arm is closer to the shoulder plane as opposed to super Up upright here. like this, yeah. Notice what happens to the elbow. Naturally comes in. It naturally comes in, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just one other thing we're gonna change, hold it there. Okay. If I asked you, where's, where's the weight, more toes or more heels, where would you say? Toes. Toes, I want you to feel it's more middle. Okay. So your posture, and this is what I mentioned in the posture earlier, Leaning your over. posture gets a, it gets a little flexy in the knees and a little towards the toes. I just want to see that you're a little more grounded. And balanced. And balanced within the middle of the feet. And there's actually going to be a little bit less flex in the leg. Feel the difference there, yeah? Mm -hmm. So now you're really planted in the feet there. Right. Right through the middle of the laces here, love it. Really nice. Let's see what happens. Okay. Oh, that felt so good. Okay. Look at the shape. <laughs> look at the shape. I'm very, laughing. very different. Yeah. But what I loved about that, look at this. Look at this. Oh, that's where the divot's supposed to go. Exactly. But look how, look how shallow it was compared to the sort of deeper, yeah. deeper swipey ones that you get. And this is what we're going to start to see. Now, you'll take divots. They'll be straighter. But they're also going to be a little more shallow as opposed to like down Damn. and yeah yeah that yeah. was i mean such a different ball flight on that one as well notice it drew a little yes i mean look at that ball flight looks Again, good. just look at the contact and the good interaction with the turf is very very different and what what i liked about this is this is done this on purpose as well josh is to go we know roughly where we want to be from a camera perspective but we're not over obsessed with hitting positions I'm like, just put that into a feeling for me. Mm -hmm. You just swing a little bit more round. It enables you to stay free as a golfer sure. without going, let me, let me make sure I get it into this perfect place. I'm not bothered about that. You're hitting the spots that I want you to hit because of the concept, the vagueness of what we're saying. Let's get the arms more around the body. Beautiful. Oh, man. It's making me giggly. It's so cool. Yeah. Notice the interaction in the ground now. Yeah. Path now is starting to come towards, you were at sixes, you're now at 3.2 to the left. Josh is playing Pebble, Pebble Beach in two weeks. Are you really? I am. So I'm like, you've got two weeks. If you do this for two <laughs> weeks, like I, I, I'm excited oh, about man, what it's going to do for you. Thank you note. <laughs> oh, that felt so good. It was pure, wasn't it, that? Oh. So, it's so good to see. I'm going to show you the difference. Satisfying. Now. Just quickly look at the full swing monitor. That top left cut number, one degree left. That's your path. That's your club path. It was six points something at the start. You hear that, friends? But let's take a look at the swing. The arms now much more around the body. We can see your face at the top of the swing. And as a result of this now, the club on the way down is just way shallower, a lot closer to that swing plane. And the path numbers are now definitely a lot closer to zero. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed that. Now if you did enjoy this, you are going to love this video right here. So make sure you check that out. Thanks again and we'll see you soon.